Uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. It looks like it's going to be Logos today. Logos is playing hot over there, and Ned kind of looks a little bit nervous against you. Mm. Alright, Ned drops the pick chase, doesn't, doesn't get it. Oh, yeah. alright, he's playing nice and safe. Nice and safe. Let me yeah. go see if I have any other matches, and if I don't... Ooh. Well, I, I know I do. Let go get out of the I'm going to take, take that sit. Next to my boy, dude. Spork bros for life. Ooh. He should be dead. Actually, I, okay, I said that and I kind of didn't believe it. Yeah, that was good. I didn't know. I wouldn't have predicted that to Nair right there, so good stuff from Logos. Yep. And now Logos on a platform. She'll drop down here. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. Do it again. Okay. He he could have squeezed in another down air, but he gave Net the respect that he'd hit a tech for once. Yep. Net's just been hit, missing a lot of techs, too. Ooh, that was really good. Really good timing. Yeah. Loro's not dropping the punish. Keeping going even after he hits the ground and starts teching. Oh, the power shield! <laughs> Ooh, what a nice power shield. Oh, he's doing the blue jay! Camp the top platform! I need to come to terms. With everything that, that, like, the Blue Jays in my life, dude. Side B from ledge, the Blue Jay. I need to come to terms and just change it, dude. True. The missed edge guard, the Blue Jay. I was actually edge guarding okay against Tyson earlier. Yeah, it, it was looking really good. I, that was a really good cross up there. Shit. He got the hell out Logos of there. Logos is right. All I do on the mic is talk about myself. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Let's talk about oh, the match. Oh, it's on the stock. He's got, He's back. Alright. But a roll from the ledge. He actually could have just got straight get up, and that could have punished it. Oh, the fox! Mm. Alright. Logos just using his superior air mobility to get the hell out of him. Get the weight, get the hell away from him. Did, yeah. he, did he try to jab reset with the upper? No, I think he just meant to pop him up, and he didn't get the second hit. Ned's got a punish going. Okay. Oh, nice weight on the roll. That was okay. beautiful. Ooh. Barely doesn't get there in time to keep the punch going with the stair. Logos just taking like the okay. bo the bottom center of the stage, knowing that like Net has to make a move. I was really good oh, to recognize that he was uh, starting to cross him up with high dares and him with the pair. Oh, oh, that grab was crazy. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that wow. was wonderful. Just he, ducks, he was ducks somehow, right underneath the side. Somehow perfectly spaced to do that. He's he might be living. Oh. oh barely drops it. This should be a, a kill right here. Okay, um, what, I think side oh, B would have actually worked right there. Or shine and then wait. We're, we're grabbing the ledge. <laughs> he wants to grab the ledge right there, though. Come on. It's true. It's true. So, right now the difference is Nets letting go of the punch when uh, when Logos hits the ground. And so he's, like, getting free. Nets, getting Nets also just dropping, like... And he's dropping a few any, more Anything including the edge right now, he's dropping. Like, he's done some tournament winners, which Logos is just, like... Like capitalized on super good. Yep. And uh, whenever he's edge guarding, he is to be getting those edge guards. Okay, Logos, exactly where he not wants to, or doesn't want to be in the corner. Okay, good the eye on that shine from Net to not get punished for it, but uh, it gets knocked off stage anyway. Yep. It always sucks when you DI something good, but then like you're just dead anyway. Yeah, like that. Oh, actually, yeah, you like, DI that bad. You DI that bad. We went flying. But, uh, you know the scenario. You DI something good that's just like, kind of like people always talk about Falcon's air wobble. You can DI the, the up air in and get another up air, or near, you know. And, or you can DI it out and just die because Falcon grabbed the ledge, you know. It's just... Yeah, you kind of do that. Damned if you do it, damned if you don't. Kind of thing. Right. You just gotta hope you trick him. Ledge got opportunity. The edge cancel, that was an accident, but we'll take it. Oh, good job using the crouch to make the tower shield easier. Is that true? Yeah, because it, it, it makes your hitbox like snap up and it'll just like be right inside of you and we'll get the huh. power shield. I didn't know that. Ned was doing that a lot in friendlies and I just assumed he like had his power shield timing down. No, that's, that's just something characters with nice slow crashes can do. Hmm. Good to know, dude. Yep. Oh, he gave him the mango. Something that Yoshi's going to parry. Alright. Gets the grab. Oh, he tried to dropped. forward throw chain grab, but Kyle goes at two high percent. Yeah. Nice up tilt. Okay, Logos has a very slight lead. Ooh. Okay. One thing about Falco is that like almost every time Falco kills really someone, good patience. it's oh. always at like high percent at the end of a combo. But uh, characters like Marth, Fox, Sheik, you know, when they kill someone, it's like relatively low. So that's why right now I would say Marth has the advantage, except for Marth's off stage now. 
Hold the double dab. Ooh, the tear off shield. Oh, and that Reddit tried to down tilt, I think. Yeah, that was probably down tilt. Usually you don't go for uh, a down yeah. smash too often. Smart shield is so bad. Yep. Oh, the, oh my, I think the forward have, smashes. I think he was reading he was going to roll away because he did that last oh. time in that situation. <laughs> I think Logos did the, the the pummels to wait for the platform to go down, and then he down through, thought net would go to the right, and then forward smash. Yep. That's crazy. Good, Logos good awareness. Nice and safe. Oh, that dare was just a little too high. For that was, that's uncharacteristic from that. Usually he forward smashes right there. And Logos didn't jump out of it or DI the up throw. So, like, that was pretty much guaranteed. He's oh, dead. There anyway. you go. Just snap to that ledge, take the stock. All right. Net, net making it even. Ooh. Oh, it's always so risky because if you time that wrong, you just, like, he, A, he either grabs the ledge before you, or B, he sees it coming or whatever, and side B's you. And you're off yeah. stage either way. Being on the ledge is a very, very dangerous place when you're playing against Mark. Yeah, but it's you know it goes both ways. You know, yep. if you grab the ledge, it's so rewarding. Right there, it didn't work out for Logos, but it easily is just as well could have. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like both the players are not playing very good right now. Could be a little nervous. I you know I just I feel like after this set, no matter who wins or loses, oh, they're both gonna like we can talk to either of them. They can say like, yeah, I wasn't playing that great. Yeah. Logos. But uh. Seeing shield grab a lot with these stairs. He's not yeah, doing he's them quite spacing, low enough. He's spacing his uh his pressure not very good. Is, we like, haven't we also haven't seen like the the West Falls pressure. Doing the dares, yeah, I was gonna say that. That's kind of hard to do against Mark though. Uh, True. I can slow your characters at least. Um. Yeah. Net. It will take that game though. It will clean up. Yeah, and it's still a pretty close set. Logo's gonna take it to Dream Run. So the weird thing about these two is that Net does actually like particularly well on Dreamland, and Logos does good on FD. Which is like if you look at this on paper, you would think it's the other way. Yep. Ooh, there we go. Don't drop it, Net. Net Don't drop it, Net. Punish right now. Yeah, he is. Gets the, oh, he got rid of the double jump, and that was beautiful. Yep. Those are the things that he was missing from the last few games. He hit the ground and he barely misses uh, tipper moves. The time was just barely too late or too soon, and he wouldn't get the punish. Okay. Yeah, okay. Logos is going for a lot of Ooh, the. That was that was the patent of that where he just back throws you. What's that down? That's down, down throw. throw yeah. Yeah. Down throws you and you miss tech. If you time. notice, what Logos is pressure like. He is forward smashing way too much. Like I, I really don't like it. Usually Logos doesn't forward smash unless it, like it's safe and it covers options. And now he's just kind of throwing it in on Net's shield, which some argue would be safe. But if Net starts picking up on it, it could like close out a stock for Logos. Ooh. Oh, gets the down tilt, grab ledge, and he's dead. There we go. Okay, Net has a two stock lead on Dreamland. Logos taking some time. He knows that he's not out of this if he just plays oh, like he's very well go. capable that, of. That's what I wanted to see him do. He was just we we all knew with him light shielding there. He was just gonna wait and then fall off and then hit with an up air or something. Yeah, or if Logos hit his shield, the light shield would send him off the, the stage. Yeah, that, or the platform. That's yeah. That's a classic com master thing. Yep. Uh, Logos is just trying to get any straight hit, and his patterns are becoming more like. Simple. He's kind of just running in, lasering, and shooting, or shooting a laser and nearing right after. And Ned's kind of just picking up on it and not getting pulled by it. So like he just needs to mix up more and. Ooh, really good there. Yep. Good job calling out him just jumping up right in the corner. Yeah, he called him out after the tournament winner. He just said, you, you know, you're afraid you're gonna jump. You're gonna go yep. back. There we go. And that getting Ooh. a punish. Okay. He got a really weak hit, so he didn't get the tech. Logos' uh, punishes right now are not looking as good as we've seen them before. Oh, and also, Ooh, like, that was a really good nair, covering every option, I think, on the platform. You can't okay. just keep missing these techs, and, uh, like, Ned's starting to capitalize a lot on just the amount of missed techs. <coughs> it's true. Should we death? Yep. Okay, very contrast to game one. Ned's up three stocks to one on Logos' counterpick, and he gets random down air. The <laughs> Falco Master down air. <laughs> She gets that flag off stage. It's unfortunate, but you know, Net really doesn't have much to be discouraged about. He's got a full stock lead. As long as he plays the percent game, he's fine. Yep. Or he's gonna get bodied right now. No, he he, he DIs properly and gets back to stage. True. Resets it back to neutral. Let's see if he can oh, get back to the Oh, that side beast stall was so okay. that, that was so Logos bad. Logos in the corner. Uh, okay. I think some interesting. Okay, that uh, was corner pressure. that was good. Board smash. Okay. There we go. I believe you just reacted and, to that and got it. Yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty good reaction situation because uh, you hit the ground before they do, so all you have to do is position yourself yep. where your forward smash will cover all three options, and yeah, that's what Logos did. He reacted, 
left on the C-Stick, it was over. Yep. And now, dude, it was looking pretty one-sided, and now it's pretty even. Yeah, Lotus has definitely brought this back. It's definitely not over. He needs to get oh. out of the corner, net reads the roll. Yep. Okay, bad DI, yeah, he's still living. Doesn't have the safe pressure. Okay, so and then rolls from the ledge. This should be it for Lotus. Okay, yep. uh, if just grab ledge. Oh! oh no. Oh, the zoo! Net dropping it. Net dropped another oh, edge guard. Gosh, that one could okay. cost him the game, dude. Oh, the good shield pressure. Logos is feeling uh, it. Oh, uh, let's dang. go. Ned got hit by a really late <laughs> back around shield, and he, he rolled out instead of just letting go of his shield or jumping out and carrying him. Yeah. And it Ned, led to him just getting Ned just, across the He missed nine. that edge guard that was just so detrimental to the rest of the set. And it could, it could just go into this game, dude. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. But okay. uh, shout outs to Richie, to Judge, and to Rob, and Tycho. And Count Oki. Alright. Ooh. Oh, it wasn't quite far enough in the corner for that uh, forward smash to connect. Logos going for a mangle, not quite getting it, so he just falls to the depths. Oh, what a reverse edge guard situation. Logos. Dropping the edge guard and then Net just throwing him off the stage and just trading stocks. I'm glad Net waited because Logos would have had it the invincibility and would have put him in an awkward situation. Really patient. It's pretty uh, fun. Like what Logos is doing, he's playing super patient. You just gotta kinda camp out him. Oh, gets in there, okay, realizes downer, he's trying to power shield his laser, so he just goes in for a grab. Something that uh, I think people should should start doing is just, instead of opting to power shield or try to, just opt to like smash the other laser away and punish him for coming in to try and hit you. Yeah, when uh, a lot of times uh, when you see Logos does this sometimes, but like a lot of other Falcos will do a lot, is when they go in for the laser grab, they usually tend to just like sometimes they miss the uh, oh, jump cancel the grab episode. more than usual, so you can punish it pretty easy. All right. Ooh, oh, what, what the weirdest forward, forward smash. smash. Yep. Okay, he reads the roll. Forward smash. Down tilt. Okay. Oh, that was really nice. Low committal. Uh, <laughs> wrong, jab, uh, yeah. wrong hit of the up tilt, though, and it sends it back to neutral. And now yeah, Logos has Logos, the advantage. Logos not getting grab from his there. He's doing them a, oh. a bit lower. Mars shield, Mars shield is so bad. Ooh, interesting yeah. there. I didn't... The, the 30 minutes is actually a pretty good time to just put into practicing tech skill. 30 minutes, because like you want to get it to a point where it's muscle it, memory. Yeah, it, it'll keep you fresh. The way the way I see it is like when you see the other character on the screen, you're not thinking like, oh, I'm gonna shine, whatever, go destroy them. It's just like I need to get to them, and when I get there, like most of tech skill, I feel like is just using your tech skill to get there, and then using it to like use your punishes all the way through. And so a lot of tech skill, I think, should be just like, and it's not technically tech oh. skill; it's more movement. But uh, that's it for, for Ned, Ned and Logos. Ned not able to handle lasers. Just kind of getting locked down in the corner. The, I like the... So, I wouldn't say you should put it into tech skill a day. Like, I think you should put like 15 minutes into tech skill, you know? Or like even 20. But you should honestly just put like 10 minutes in just movement. Because uh, what I focus on like all the time is like, how do I get to this other character? How do I get to the other side of the stage and be safe about it? And <laughs> how, do, how do I do, you know, how do I get there? What do I do when I get there? Just think about that more than rather just like, you know, classic day one Fox where they just want to multi shine like 80 times. Game. That was really close. Like, that was pretty good. That was really close. Just this near out and like, yeah, that's a dead mark. You, you yeah. both, like I said to Garrett, you both were playing bad uh, for the first I two games. Play, I started playing a lot better the last two games. I, I was talking about like. You started playing better at the end of the Dreamline game. Yeah. Yeah. Versus me playing? Yeah. Okay. Michael. What? I gotta take a break real quick. I have a tournament match.